by Miko was to be able to find the sum of a um, sequence. And the formula for the sum of sequence was s of n equals n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Yes? So we, I introduced two formulas. So this is the other formula. This is to find the sum. The question asks, um, find the indicated nth partial sum of the arithmetic sequence. Well, we know how many, sequ how many terms are we using? 25th. So we're going to find the 25th partial sum. To find the 25th partial sum, so s of 25, we need to know how many terms, which is 25, over 2 times a sub 1, which they actually give us is 100, plus a sub n, which is a sub 25, which we know is 220. So they give us the first and the last term, so we just need to actually plug it in. So it's pretty basic. So here we're going to have 12.5 times 320. And I do not have a calculator with me to be able to calculate um, that. I could go and do it in my head, but if anybody wants to go ahead and calculate that real quick for me, 12.5 <coughs> times 320, then we can say S of 25 is now going to equal 4,000. I guess I probably could have done it in my head if I wanted to look at it. But there you go. That's going to be your solution. OK? And that was 57 on my work. No, it's 59. Yes. Can you do a, a sure.